What's up, guys? I'm Grace from Straight Shot Studios. I am the VO person for the Marionetta recaps on our YouTube channel, and I am too lazy to read the webtoons, so our team made the recap with AI VO, and I'm going to watch it now and react to it. So, enjoy. Hookie's author, Miriam Bonastratur, is back with her new series. Here's a recap of episode one of Marionetta. I've got a lot of thoughts on this comic. Let's dive in. Marionetta has a mesmerizing and ominous intro. The beginning already has us shaken with Julia, our protagonist, covered in blood and tears. We can't see anything clearly. The author strategically doesn't show us what happened. We're mentally and physically in the dark. What's going on? Is the stabbed person dead? Why is Julia- Is it even a stabbed person? Dressed like that. How did this colorful circus turn into a crime scene? We're starting off on the right foot. I love how the author's not given everything away. It's adding to the suspense. After this, we jump back in time to follow Julia and her friend Camille running after a bus. Shout out to all mm. the hooky lovers, right? I'm a fan. I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of, um, mystery starting and mystery starting and then, and then jumping back in time and then you don't know what's happening and you didn't even get the full picture. I, okay, I'm a fan so far. If you don't understand, don't worry, I got you. Hooky started with a similar scene, but this time the author is turning the tables. Mm. Instead of missing the bus like in Hooky, the story starts because they caught the bus. Just a heads up, if you haven't read Miriam's other webtoon yet, pause this video, add it to your- Will wait you? Is that a thing that, is that like a reference that I don't understand? Do you not have like good English? I don't know. Good English? I'm kind of in the dark for this too, but okay. Reading list and come back. It's a real masterpiece. But going back to Marionetta, the driver stops, letting Julia and Camille hop on and find a place among the crowd. This the scene gorgeous, might seem chill, but we start part. peeling back the layers of this new world. The first thing that caught my attention was the dynamic between these friends. They're as different as night and day, but it actually works. Julia comes across as smart and no-nonsense, someone with a strong sense of right and wrong. At the same time, Camille is the cutest and most lovable person on earth. And trust me, everyone on the bus is obsessed with reminding us how perfect she is. Also, I'm curious about these uniforms. I mean, they look like they're for a job or something, but we don't she know for is. sure yet. I'm just assuming they work at the factory they were passing by, but they seem like they could be high schoolers too. There's a lot to figure out about this world, but for the moment, I can only say that it's like they all come from the same mold. Hold on, hold on. Wow, this is going really fast. Um, I think that's a classic to have, I mean, what two best friends are super alike. I mean, they gotta be complimentary. So I agree with that. And then we quickly moved into, oh, I don't even know. Okay, let me play again. This is fast. Like they could be high schoolers too. There's a lot to figure out about this world, but for the moment, I can only say that it's like they all come from the same mold. The only person who seems out of place is this man referred to oh, as an Akon person. Akon. What's got Julia so scared of him? Okay, I get it. He is creepy. Something about him is just weird. But why is everyone so evidently trying to avoid him? Again, we are out of the loop about many things. We don't have much time to think about it though, because the action is about to start. Everyone on the bus is hyped for the circus. Well, everyone except for Julia, who is much more worried about work. Our heroine is lecturing everyone on their responsibilities, but ends up going with them because of Camille. I get it. Circus work? Just look at Camille. How could she say no? So yes, they hop off the bus and start walking around this vibrant place. The artwork is absolutely mind-blowing. It feels like we're jumping into a new dimension. As any good storyteller, Miriam uses every opportunity to give us small hints. We focus our attention on a super strong man, a freckled acrobat, and a tamer surrounded by cute puppies. Looks like she's introducing some key players. Can't wait to see where they fit in the story. Plus. We also uh, find out that magic is illegal and somewhat frightening. I'm 100 sure magic all this is, is important. Illegal? I feel like a detective, keeping track of clues. Of course, at this point, we aren't even okay, surprised so to see Julia having magic. a tough time. On the other hand, Camille is loving every uh, second of it and volunteers for a show. Here's when our characters make a huge mistake. They get separated, which is a recipe for disaster. I guess they don't have horror movies in this world. While her friend is off having the time of her life, Julia's just sitting on a bench, complaining. As she waits, she can't help but overhear some kids picking on a poor- Julia's grouchy! clown. She Jeez. helps him out, but not without giving him a piece of her mind for being- I want to know what's up with Julia. Like, I'm sure if this is anything like anime, I'm sure she has like a deep, dark past. Some, some, some real dark stuff. Um, like, grow up, no parents. Um, raised her sibling. I mean, actually, something even darker. I can't even think of something that dark, but yeah. That's my guess. After this, she's determined to track down Camille, but let's be real, it's probably too little too late. Meanwhile, Camille meets with two members of the circus troupe and falls in love at first sight. This scene is giving me a lot to think about. At the start, I thought she was head over heels for the guy, 
but now I'm not convinced if it's him or the woman. Let me walk you through it. It's tricky, cause Camille runs into him, and I bought into his knight in shining armor act. He extends his hand and smiles. Camille turns red, and I didn't think twice. But after reading it all again, I realized that most of his shots are with a blonde woman. And just when she walks Jeez. by, Camille blushes. Coincidence? I don't think so. I had a chat with our I'm team, and too. we came to the conclusion that she's into her. Also, it's, it's not like the author hasn't written LGBTQIA plus characters before. What do you think? Let us know in the comments who you think Camille is falling for. Anyway, back to the story. Camille recklessly I follows like that. Them. I kind of like the mystery. It reminds me of, um... Why am I thinking Howl's Moving Castle? I think I got that stuck in my head from something else, but it's giving it's giving that. It's uh, Howl's Moving Castle, sexy, mysterious person. You know, I don't see But I'm face. starting to question her intelligence or survival skills. And if that wasn't enough, she goes straight up oh, to the circus for a chat. Seriously, why? When did it wait, seem wait, like wait, a good idea? Wait, 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 is it two of them? I'm so confused. Uh smiles. It Camille is two of them. Red, and oh I didn't think twice. But after reading it all again, I realized that most of his shots are with a blonde woman. And just when she walks by, Camille blushes. Coincidence? Jeez. I don't think so. I no. had a chat with our team, and we came to the conclusion that she's into her. Also, it's not like the author hasn't written LGBTQIA plus oh, characters she's before. Into what do you think? Let us know lady? in the comments who you think oh Camille is falling for. Anyway, back to the story. Camille recklessly follows them. I mean, I'm rooting for her character, but I'm starting to question her intelligence or survival skills. And if that was true i mean come on every horror movie like stupid main character going towards the horror so that makes sense i have to admit i was expecting the worst but i didn't anticipate what happened next after entering the circus tent camille sees something she's not oh. supposed to a headless acrobat for the first you know time what? not gonna lie like that's a jarring concept but that's a really cute piece of um art i kind of like it is that weird i like it she has a normal reaction and tries to run, but she gets captured. The man she followed approaches with a knife and takes off his mask. Forget the knight, he's more like a straight-up psycho. Camille begs, but there's no point. There, with a big grin and his third eye exposed, he She's says she 19. saw too much. Is he gonna kill her? What a cliffhanger for the first episode. We oh my god, he has three eyes! And subscribe for more webtoon reacts. Oh, okay. Okay, so that was my... Reaction to episode one of Marionetta. Very interesting. Very caught off guard. I was expecting like a mistress and a mister falling in love and saving each other. But it started off with, it started off so mysterious where we don't even know what's going on. Just pain and stabbing. And then cut to friendships. Um, cut to circus. So I, I really don't know what to expect. So like and subscribe to see the recap video that's going to drop on YouTube. And... Tune in next time for episode two.